A new day requires new unboxing. Thank you all once again for joining in. If you are new here, you can consider subscribing and liking the video. Today we got the Fisher's Pasky chess pieces. If you are interested in these pieces, you can get them with the link in the description box. Alright, let's do the unboxing. To butcher once again. Some players are artists, some players are butchers. I must be butcher today in the unboxing. Alrighty. Standard brochure, small cards and the pieces. Okay, we're gonna start with the dark pieces. Dark pieces are in a shishan wood or a golden rosewood, the first dark bond. The second. Third one. This felt a little bit darker than on the Reykjavik pieces. Look at this nice grain of the golden rosewood. Beautiful. Moving on, first bishop, look at this guy, the knight, Here comes the Fisher's Pasky Knight. What do you say? Charismatic look because of this cut just below the eye. It's easy to grab this piece. This is made to fit the fingers perfectly. I'm happy with this knight. Another bishop. The first rook. All right. Another pawn. The first queen. Pretty different crown than a Reykjavik, but they share the slimness of the top of the piece. Very easy to grab, very easy to handle this piece. This crown is not too much sharp, it is made to be durable another rook one 
what do you say? This is thinner than a Reykjavik. Interesting. Small details, small differences. This is soft transition from the balcony to the body. Second mistress. She's also very pretty. You cannot blame the king for sharing his love for these queens. The second night. You can get all the details, I hope. And for the last, the mighty king. Similar, similar to the okay, but this part is a little bit curved, and if I remember well, on the Reykjavik is completely straight. But we're gonna double check that. I like it. Switching to the light pieces. Regular pawn. Nice weight. Of the pawn. His relative. Third one. How about this guy? Perfectly fine. Moving to the bigger pieces. Mr. Knight. The main. The teeth. Three holes in the chest. Area for the fingers, cut below the eye, sharp ears, hole in the nose, and that's about it. Looking good. Another rock in the wall. Typical Fisher's Pasky Rook with the deep cuts. I'm pretty happy how this turned out. What do you say? Look at that, another one. What do you think? I think it's good. Oh. How about a woman in this game? Everything looks nice. The crown is tidy.
by the way, I'll put all the dimensions of the set right now. Yeah. The piece we love the most. The night. Here are they. Gathered together. Happy with this, and of course, for the last, the king. Great. What do you say? Tell me in the comments. Now we're gonna do one interesting comparison. On the left side of the arena, we got Fischer Spassky, and on the right side, we got Reykjavik. Now we're gonna compare each piece to piece to see the differences. So first, take a look on the king. Let's start from the top. So the cross on the Reykjavik is a little bit smaller and the overall diameter of the head it is also smaller on the Reykjavik. As I mentioned, this part on the Reykjavik is straight and this one is a little bit curvy. belt color approximately in the same base but this is also a little bit different it's on a higher level on Reykjavik the queens so pretty different crown it's much more fleshy uh, on the Reykjavik more extruded points and this is a little bit uh, different approach the ball on the top is obviously smaller on the Reykjavik these rings are a little bit thinner also on the Reykjavik and this is a little bit on a higher level again bishops Quite similar but also different. So let's see the balls. So this ball on the Reykjavik is again a little bit smaller. 
this part when uh, when the head connects to the body it's a little bit thinner on uh, on Reykjavik and these rings are a little bit slimmer than on uh, Fischer's Plasky and overall body is slimmer on Reykjavik which one do you prefer? I'm a little bit leaning towards the Reykjavik or Fischer's Plasky but that's personal preference and this might be the biggest difference it is the knight they have some similarities but overall they are pretty different these holes on the body are much wider on a Fischer's Plasky Fischer's Plasky is a little bit taller different design of the head this one has open mouth and this one has a simplified mouth the mane is a little bit uh, different also what is your opinion about this? which one do you prefer? the rooks so Reykjavik is a little bit less tall and these parts on the rook are thicker than on a Fischer's Plasky this one has a little bit more elegant a little bit thinner pieces but uh, this might be more durable because it is thicker so which one are you going to choose? elegance over the durability and the pawns the Reykjavik has slightly bigger head of the pawn. It's a little bit chunkier overall and just a hair shorter than a Fischer's Plasky. The weight comparison Fischer's Plasky, Reykjavik. They are approximately the same weight, the only noticeable difference is the pawn on the Fischer's Plasky. It's heavier than on a Reykjavik. I prefer this one on a Fischer's Plasky. So the recommended board size would be 2.25 inch per square or 58 or 57 millimeters. I believe this is ideal so what will be the last words for this set this can be considered as an enterprise of a serious chess pieces so for sure I would recommend them they look great and they feel great they're nicely weighted and they are historically relevant that's always a good thing to remember so thank you once again for joining for stopping by and for sharing your time with me and this video subscribe for more like this and see you next time